Hello there and welcome to the Indian Insight channel. In this video, I am going to share my outlook on the Nifty 50 index and the Bank Nifty index. Nifty 50 and Bank Nifty have done really well over the last few months. And uh, now we are seeing some kind of a correction in these indices. So we are going to try to figure out how to position ourselves going forward based on the important levels in these indices. But before I start my coverage on Nifty and Bank Nifty, I want to remind our subscribers about what we posted on this channel few months back. I'm talking about the Pharma Index. I'm going to put a link of this uh, video which was published on 15th of Jan on my channel in which I showed you how to how you can analyze any index and basically if you want to do sector analysis using technicals then how you can go about it. On 15th of January the Nifty Pharma index was around 12,700 and since then it has rallied quite a bit and it has crossed its high of 14,938 at the time. So now it's trading at new highs. I would urge all my viewers who are here to learn technical analysis to re-watch that video and look at the coverage of individual stocks and how we were able to predict change in leadership. Basically in the video I told you that while the last rally was fueled by companies like DV's Lab, but going forward, you would see new leaders emerging. The leadership in this sector is going to change. If you would look at the analysis in that video, then you will see that Sun Pharma, Cipla, Torrent Pharma, Abbott and all these companies have done very well. That was shared in our analysis also. Special mention for companies like Lupin, Glenmark and uh, Zydus. Some of these companies have even doubled, even though they are large cap companies, they have doubled in a very short period of time. So they have given you more than 100% returns and in that video we shared how these companies they looked like they have bottomed out and they may they may try to rally and the whole index now has, uh, has outperformed the general markets and most of our analysis would have been very useful if you even look at the individual stocks that we covered and we shared our analysis on. Next I would like to talk about the nifty media index this video was posted of 9th of July. We shared this exact chart and we told you how the Nifty Media Index can rally in the coming few weeks. Now you can see how well this index has rallied. It has rallied by quite a bit. It's now up by over 10% I think. In this case we talked about how a triple bottom kind of a pattern has been formed and then the market is trying to rally and then uh, in the middle and now we, we told you that yeah we were probably expecting this to test the upper end of this channel and here you will have to decide if uh, the rally is going to continue. Another video we published on the CNX energy index. CNX energy index video was published on 3rd of July. So around 3rd of July we said that this index is also likely to do well and this index has also rallied quite a bit but it has not rallied as much as the media index but it has still done very well. Now the purpose of sharing these examples from my channel is to tell you that we do not share analysis lightly. We only share an analysis on this channel once we are sure that something serious may be about to happen. So when we are sure that something serious or something important is about to happen in an index or uh, in any part of the market then we try to cover our analysis there. Honestly if you want to make decent money in the stock market you don't need a new idea every day. In fact if you could just figure out one or two good ideas in a year you can still make a reasonable amount of money. This is after taking into account that maybe you'll have four ideas and maybe two will work and maybe two will fail and still if you are disciplined, if you have the right money management skill, then still you can generate decent returns. So now let's come back to our analysis for the Nifty Index. 
Now here I have drawn this big channel here. I wasn't so bullish when the markets were down around the 16,500 levels. I was expecting that the prices would move lower. However, once the prices were able to cross the trend line, this trend line here, when the prices crossed above this trend line, this trend line which I have drawn, drawn now, it made me question my bearish views. And then I started looking at the individual stocks. And so I decided that if I see good bullish setups in any individual stock, then I'm going to start adding those positions, of course, with a stop loss. So my view was not very bullish around here. I'm very, I'm very frankly and honestly sharing with you. I was pretty much bearish here, but because of this trend line break, I started looking for bullish opportunities because I thought this rally might continue for a little while. And frankly, I didn't expect the market to rally to 20,000. However, here we are. Now, over the last few weeks, we have seen some kind of a selling emerging in the Nifty index. This selling was led by the Bank Nifty. We will look at the Bank Nifty chart as well very soon. Now, again, what we see here, the price action has been in a trend channel. This trend channel here. The positive price action basically in Nifty 50 has largely been contained in this channel. Now the thing is if we break below this trend channel and last week we have closed below slightly below this channel. I would have preferred if there was more bearish price action. So it would have been clear but yeah there has been an attempt to break this trend channel. The important support level for Nifty 50 index is going to be around 18646. If 18646 breaks, then it is possible that we might see a very sharp fall in the market. And when I say sharp fall, I mean we can even revisit the June 2022 levels. So we may revisit below the 15,000 levels if Nifty index closes below the 18646 levels. If, however, this does not happen, then I expect the market to touch the upper end of this bigger channel. And here will be the real test for this current rally because if this is a bullish market, then the index would not stop here and you should see some acceleration above this trend channel, this bigger trend channel. If this 18,646 level continues to hold, then first we'll see Nifty attempting a move towards 21,000 and from there we may even expect the Nifty to end up to go to up to 23,500 or 24,000. So the level that you should keep in mind here is 18,646. You can stay bullish as long as this level holds. On the upside you may expect 21,000 followed by 24,000 as long as this level of 18,646 holds. If however you see a breakdown and if you see a closing below 18,646 then you should be really worried because we will probably see 15,000 pretty soon. Next let's look at the bank nifty. The bank nifty index struggled to close above 44,000 during the last rally. We saw a major correction this May, this major correction came from the 44,000 levels. Right now, if we continue to stay above the 43,500 level, then the bank nifty has still has hope of going up. However, if we see that the bank nifty closes below this 43,500 level, then it would be further confirmation to us that maybe bank nifty is headed lower. Now you should note that in this chart, this trend channel has already broken. So first signs of weakness are already there in Bank Nifty. Second sign that would be more important sign according to me is if Bank Nifty closes below the 43,500 level. In which case, again, we'll first see a test of around 42,000 levels and our next target would be around 39,500 level. So these two will be our main targets for Bank Nifty if 43,500 breaks. If however, 
we somehow manage to stay above 43,511, levels, then we can head to new all-time highs. Between Nifty and Bank Nifty, you will notice that the Bank Nifty is around 44,200 and our main support is 43,500. So this main support of 43,500 is only about one and a half or two percent away from our current index level. In case of Nifty, the important level is 18,646 and this is about 4 to 5 percent away from our current index level. So Nifty has quite a bit of room. It needs to fall by quite a bit before its trend is threatened. Bank Nifty, however, if it falls by just 2 percent, then yes, we may see more serious damage in the index. So on the bearish side, you should be monitoring Bank Nifty. It will probably lead in case of a market fall. So if it's, there is a downtrend, it emerges, it's likely to lead. If however, if an uptrend is going to be the fate of the market for the next few months, then you will see that the bank nifty would basically be a bit of a drag. It, it will likely not outperform nifty. The important levels to remember again in bank nifty is 43,500 for any further weakness and case of nifty. The important level is 18,646 and based on these levels, you should position yourself for the coming weeks and months. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to share this video and like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for logging in.